Hello, everyone. D. Alfred Ostrowski. In this recording, I'm going to be giving a tutorial slash demonstration of the Aptos blockchain initial transaction using TypeScript. I'm going to be following pretty close to the aptos.dev developers documentation. However, I had to make some modifications to get even yet this initial example to work for me. As usual, I'm going to be working on the Amazon EC2 instances, as I usually do. And I'm going to be following very closely to all my documentation as posted on the associated GitHub that you'll find below this video. So let's get started. I'm assuming nothing else is other than an Amazon account, a PPK key generated, and a putty or some access to the terminal. You can also use the cloud shell that they have up here, but I like using the putty terminal. I can expand it a little bit. So let's get started. I'm like working in the Solidity environment. I can get by with a low end instance. That's a good thing, right? Because it's a lot cheaper. So I'm going to use the Ubuntu 2204. Only in this case, I'm going to use a T2 micro and that's going to suit our needs fine. I already have my PPK key generated. So let me bring up that instance. It should be up in a second. And I can grab my IP and get started here. Refresh to get that IP. Then here we have it. So I'm going to be using Node version 20. I have to do a Node source install. And I'm going to be doing that in similar nature that I've done that with prior tutorials within Ethereum and Solidity. So I'm going to do an app get update and go through the details. Not really going to get into the deep explanation here try to include the sources. You want to explore the details of the Unix administration, that's fine, but I know that this works. We've used this prior. So just go through these steps and download the associated node source. If I do a, uh, a direct install from the cloud, I'll usually end up with a version that is not the best because it's not the newest version of node and they're already being deprecated at this point. So I'm going to pull in 20. And set up for the associated install. I'm going to do an app second app get update. And now do the formal install. So as mentioned, I started with the Aptos developer's documentation. I had to do some slight modifications. I'm going to point that out as I move forward. Most importantly, I'm going to be installing the Aptos SDK, which is not required until you get into a few of the more advanced tutorials that they present. So here, Node is installed. Let's just double check it to be sure. And I could do a Node-V and validate that I have Node up and running. Next, I'm going to do an NPM install since I have the node environment up. And I'm going to install the app test library. And as I'm moving forward, I'm going to also use PNPM module. So let's install that now. I'm going to install it with a global install. As I mentioned, I have to use the app test SDK when I do the PNPM install. If I don't, I've been countering errors, and I'll point that out as I go through the install, but I'm going to do that through the pip installer 
not exactly intuitive at this point, but this is what I did to get it to work. So I'm going to use pip3, do an install once the pip utility has been installed and we'll be up and running pretty close, pretty soon. Let's wait for it. So I just okay through this, do a default. It's going to do a system, restart some system utilities and we'll be on track here. So now I'm going to do a pip3 install of the Aptos SDK. So this is somewhat in lieu of the Aptos CLI, which I'll be using a later point in time. They specified at this point, but that doesn't help me avoid the error with the PN, PM install. At this point, I'm going to do a clone on the Aptos core. And again, I didn't create a project directory. This is just a quick and dirty. So I'm just going to install it out of the home Ubuntu and operate directly out of there. This doesn't take too long, so I don't really have to pause out. It'll be done in a few seconds. Now I'm going to go to the examples TypeScript and TypeScript is the preferred language. They also have provide support for Python and Rust when you're working outside of the move programming language, which is the developmental contract language for this blockchain. So this right here, the FFI and API, this was giving me errors when I just used the basic CLI install or any variations kind of fell into this I'm doing some of the later demos that they provide and then back that in to get this initial script to run. So the PNPM install, this worked appropriately. Now I can do the transfer coin demo as provided in the documentation. So let's give that a shot. So transfer coin and I am directly engaging with the developmental blockchain with Aptos. This is pretty interesting. They actually um, put in the node definition right in the installation. So you have immediate access and you don't have to go through um, a lot of extra steps here. So I have some initial addresses for accounts. I have initial balances that are created and some intermediate balance after doing a uh, a transfer and also an additional transfer and which gives me final balance. So this executed successfully. Let's take a quick look at the actual script before we wrap up here. So the demo script is pretty straightforward. I import dot environment and do some imports from Aptos. And the common, again, this provides the URL for the nodes and faucet. This allows to get up and running pretty fast here. Within an async block, I instantiate a client for the Aptos and faucet appropriately, as well as for the coin client. I use the Aptos account. I can create two accounts in this fashion. And that gave me the addresses that were printed in the output can also call the fund account and associate the appropriate balances and print out the initial balances using check balance to the console. Initiate a transfer, gives me a transaction hash. Wait for it to do that transaction and give out the associated balances. A second transfer is initiated between Alice and Bob and also the associated weight and the final balances. So that's it. So we're able to do the install from a clean Ubuntu instance off EC2 and 
install the associated libraries and run the initial first transaction. So I hope this helps. As usual, this is going to be documented on the associated GitHub with this video. Thanks for listening. Take care. Thank you.